my dose of suicide Yeah, bet my coffin would be nice Yeah, stir that bitch up with some ice Yeah These people don't want me alive, no They wanna play What is good, YouTube? My name is George If you are a beginner skateboarder, that is completely okay Every single person you see at the skate park They were once in your position When you go to the skate park, realize it's okay And skate your heart out We were all beginners once But believe me, I know it can be intimidating when you show up to the skate park Especially if you're a beginner So I have prepared for you guys 5 tips to look like you're not a beginner skateboarder And they don't involve doing things like this The first way that skaters judge other skaters in terms of their skill is the way they look when they're pushing around. Tip number one is to be comfortable pushing and riding around the skate park in general. While you're pushing around the skate park, hit all the obstacles. So even if you're not doing tricks on them, just ride onto the ramps, do kick turns. And while you're pushing around the skate park, the faster you push, the better you look. That's a general rule of thumb across skateboarding. If you go fast, you're looking good. That was Nora looking pretty beginner at skateboarding. But Nora, now try your hardest to get like a really comfortable looking push. You gave me permission to roast you. know how to push around the park and look pretty solid. Tip number two, master the throwdown, the stop, and the pickup. If you're fumbling on these, you're gonna definitely look like a beginner at the skate park. If you want to look like a good skater, it's definitely worth mastering these. Nobody does that. I actually prefer to stop and pick up my board all in one. I put my foot on the nose, I step my right foot off, and then I snap my board into my hands, and then I just keep walking. <laughs> Do you want to just try picking it up normal? Tip number three is to do the basics well and fast. So I'm talking ollies, 180s, half cabs, shove it. It'll probably look to other people like you're just warming up to do some crazier tricks, but uh, secretly you may not know how to do any other tricks. Wait, 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 wait. If you don't have these tricks, of course, just practice them. Nora's gonna demonstrate uh, trying to learn how to shove it. She's been close. Do you think you're gonna get it today? No, definitely not. If you put two feet on one in the next 10 tries, I'll buy you frozen yogurt right up. We're getting fro-yo. The deal's a deal, even though I bought dinner last night. Oh, you wanna roast me? No. That was trendy as f Let's do 10 more tries. Nora, you did so good. You're gonna get it next time. How'd it feel? Like I suck. You don't suck. Just take the tips in this video and you'll look like you're gnarly. I want tighter trucks. Yeah, that, that would help you a lot. Where's the bee? What the f Mr. B? Yo, that's a demon B. What? I'm just kidding. He looks pretty cute. What is he doing? He was like, no, mother Hello, mister. What do you want? He's so cute. Look, he pollinated it. He pollinated my phone. That's dirty. Sorry for the interruption. I was scared for my life right there. Anyways, the next tip for you guys to avoid looking like a total noob at the skate park is to follow basic skate park etiquette. The most important thing to keep in mind is to just be aware of the other skaters at the park. Everyone is taking turns, so don't just constantly be going. Make sure you're looking around, giving people their turns. Don't sit and hang out on obstacles. For the most part, it's just common sense. Oftentimes at a skate park, there's obstacles that aren't actually part of the skate park, but that the skaters use 
most often and I'll often see beginners like sitting right on top of them. So for example, here at this skate park, there's a wall and a wax up ledge. Don't sit on things like that. Basically look for skate marks or look for other people skating the obstacles. Just be aware. Just by doing that, following skate park etiquette, you will look like a better skater. Tip number five involves falling. Advanced skaters have fallen so many times that when they fall, their bodies are relaxed. They act like it's no big deal. They get right back up. So if you're a beginner, just try to mimic that. If you want to go out of your way and actually learn how to fall, there are techniques you can use. Like you really want to try to roll out of your falls to reduce the impact. You want to film me busting my ass? That was so not believable. Ridiculous. That's not the point. I think that I'm unable to like fall gracefully on purpose. It has to just happen. It's mostly just get back up and don't be embarrassed. Those are the five tips I have for you guys, but I really want to get across the message that it's okay to be a beginner. I was a beginner. Every incredible skater was a beginner looking like a goof at the skate park. So everyone understands no matter how intimidating they look and try just talking to people at the skate park. It will make you feel better about being a beginner. Chances are people would be happy to give you tips and advice. Just embrace that beginner phase because sooner than later you're going to start progressing and you'll uh, cherish those days when you uh, first found the beauty of skateboarding. A lot of beginners show up to the skate park and kind of nervously look around and don't really just start skating but if you just embrace it and just start skating right away you will actually give off more confidence and you will look like a better skateboarder just by doing that and having that mindset. So get out there, get skating, don't worry about it too much, be yourself, ride your board, ride as much as possible and you won't be a beginner for long. Good, you look like garbage. Me and Nora are taking pictures of this new Aeros Keiko shirt. Ooh, I'm stoked. Thank you, Nora. Even though you just roasted my ass. I did not roast you. It's just the camera. So these tips are based. So these tips are. 